optimize a website with Google Tag Manager. Yeah, interesting trivia about Tony. He was born in Hanoi and grew up and lived in Moscow for 16 years. But now he has returned back to Vietnam and still travels from time to time. <laughs> okay, so... Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, so uh, everyone, let's welcome Tony Bui. Uh, okay, that's true. Uh, uh, can anybody hear me? It's fine. If I'm saying that, cool. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I was born in Hanoi, Vietnam, 1986. Uh, moved to, by the time, you there. Uh, now it's Russia. And so my accent in some way is uh, English <laughs> instead of uh, English. And so my native language is Russian, actually, but I know Russian, Vietnamese, and right now a little bit English. And so uh, let's, oh, we uh, move it a little bit uh, far. Uh, okay, uh, does uh, anyone know uh, or heard about Google Tech Manager before this? Oh, nice. Okay, great. Uh, so um, I'm not a coder, I'm not a tech. Mostly my job is related to analytics, uh, marketing, business, etc but not related closely to, uh, to the coding. So I just know a little bit about HTML and CSS, not much really. And so uh, today I would like to share about my journey uh, from not non-tech view, about Google Tech Manager, and how we integrate it to our project. Uh, it's called Nitro. It's a little bit late. Uh, for anyone who are interested, it's online actually. Uh, bit.ly uh, slash uh, gtm wc16. Uh, you can see it later or now. It's up to you, slides. So uh, it's for your convenience. Uh, okay, um, today uh, it's uh, about uh, two parts. First one, it's about theory. Uh, I will tell a little bit, just a little about Google Tag Manager because mostly you will find information on the internet or Google. And the second part, it will be related to, to showcase uh, how did I use for Google Analytics uh, integrating with third-party services like Intercom IO. Uh, does anybody use Intercom or some chat? Oh, just one. Okay, two, two. nice. Uh, my uh, Google AdWords story uh, and even tracking with uh, e-commerce funnel. It's uh, another project called Joomla Shine, uh, if we have time for that. And the last one is about learning resources, which will help you a lot with uh, learning GTM. But uh, firstly, we will uh, watch this quick video to understand what Google Tag Manager is uh, and how Google <coughs> explain it. To deploy tags while helping IT keep things safe and stable. Oops. Okay. Stable. This video is an introduction to the basic concepts that marketers will use. Google Tag Manager helps you manage how tags are deployed on your website or mobile app. Google Tag Manager gives you a powerful set of tools to control how these tags are fired and how your tag data is handled using triggers, variables, and a data layer. A tag is HTML code that executes on a page. Tags serve a variety of uses, but most of the tags used in Google Tag Manager send information from your site to a third party. For example, the Google Analytics and the AdWords conversion tracking tags send information about certain types of activity on your site to Google. Without a tag management solution, 
The code for each of your tags must be added manually to the source code of your site. Google Tag Manager simplifies this process. Using the Google Tag Manager interface, you simply specify the tags that you want to use, and Google Tag Manager does the heavy lifting for you. Google Tag Manager for the web is deployed using a single container code snippet that you place on all your website pages. The Google Tag Manager SDK is used for mobile apps. The container snippet handles the deployment and execution of AdWords, Google Analytics, Floodlight, and other tags you might have deployed on your site or mobile app using Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager uses triggers and variables to control how and when your tags fire. Tags are triggered based on events and are executed when a web page or mobile app loads or in response to some interaction on the page or mobile app. In Google Tag Manager, you attach triggers to tags to specify when they should fire. For example, if you attach the All Pages trigger to a tag, the tag will fire whenever any page loads. Other triggers might be set up to fire tags at specific times, such as if a customer removes an item from their shopping cart, or if their user clicks or taps a button to download a featured app. Variables help define triggers and what data they send. Conditions might include specific URLs from referring pages, links, or for the page itself, the presence of specific HTML elements, IDs, or classes, cookie values, random number values, or custom values via JavaScript. The data layer is an optional JavaScript object that you can use to help manage the information your tags are gathering from your site. A data layer is simply object code that can be used to pass events and variables to Google Tag Manager. To generate a data layer on a web page, you simply create the object before your container tag. For example, if you have a tag that triggers when your customer uses your travel website to look at a vacation to Hawaii, the values can be pushed to the data layer when the page is viewed. A trigger could then be defined to look for destination and travel type values and configured to fire a Google Analytics event tag when detected to track the data. The data can then be collected and analyzed in Google Analytics as custom variables. To learn more about managing tags in Google Tag Manager, visit support.google.com. Uh, okay, uh, it was a video. Uh. Google Tag Manager is a powerful ally when working with tags on your website. Understanding the Tag Manager account and add hmm. uh, Okay, uh, as you can see, it's uh, just a um, Google Tag Manager, or it's actually a tag management system uh, that allows us to um, uh, quickly and easily update tags and code snippets. It's something maybe for someone hard to understand. Uh, uh, but I will go uh, try to, uh, to, to um, clarify this information. Uh, let's say, um, uh, in order to uh, to use Google Tag Manager, you just need to remember two important things. Uh, first one, it's related to tags, trigger, second triggers, and third, it's variables. Uh, it's uh, three things that I have paid attention uh, with high focus when I started uh, learning what GTM is. Uh, so, uh, it's actually just a snippet of code that send information to third party uh, uh, services, for example, uh, Google Analytics, and um, usually you will find a lot of information related to uh, sending data analytics, retargeting, retargeting, at worst, and affiliate. And this is uh, actually how the dashboard looks uh, uh, it, uh, in Google Tag Management System. Uh, just imagine. Uh, uh, it's the page source of uh, just pure HTML code. Uh, in this case, you can see uh, on the uh, top, it's uh, Facebook pixel code. Usually, uh, marketers used to, uh, uh, 
to uh, remarket, uh, to collect audience for remarketing campaigns. The piece of code bottom is a visual website optimizer. It's uh, from VWO. Usually marketers use for uh, A-B testing. So two, it's just the two pieces of codes, but uh, um, for uh, example, in my case, I use more and more services like Intercom, Hotjar, Mouseflow, and other uh, third-party services, which help me uh, to understand customer insights and optimize the website better. So it's actually the JavaScript code, and now you those codes run through just simple piece of code, uh, Google Tag Manager code, uh, and this uh, the condition here is uh, you have to place this uh, put this uh, code on any pages of your website. So instead of loading two or more pieces of code, you just load one simple piece of code, GTM. Uh, this is a quite familiar if you use uh, Google Analytics and wish to track. Uh, events uh, from users' behavior and send those events to uh, Google Analytics. Uh, it's the typical uh, combination with send event category action level. So if you want to uh, to track click by now, add to cart, check out, you usually use this uh, piece of code and as developer to integrate to uh, HTML. But now uh, you just create yourself via tag. This, uh, the part above is uh, tag. The part uh, at bottom is trigger. Trigger is the condition. That is the uh, information you send. In this case, uh, you can see uh, I send information to uh, Google Analytics. Uh, it's my tracking ID. I send uh, type event, category landing, action click and label purchase now. Later on, I will show you how uh, I did it uh, in real time. Uh, so triggers, uh, it's the second thing you have to remember. It's the condition, actually, that relates to either true or false at runtime. It's compared to value in the variable with the value that you specify. Uh, it's uh, uh, trigger. Uh, as you can see, uh, trigger the condition here is a click class equals to purchase button wr btn w. It's uh, CSS. That's why I said that you have to know a little bit about uh, HTML and CSS. Um, and bottom, you can see this one is the uh, actually right now it's in the preview mode of Google Tag Management. So you can see uh, variables. For example, it's even custom even string uh, gem click. You can see that uh, click element. I click it on the object. It's nitrorockets.com uh, slash uh, footer. Uh, click text. It's automatically detected that I per, I've clicked on purchase today for ninety fifteen or uh, fifty nine dollars. And so variables, it's, it might be specif specific URL, cookie values, random number values, custom values via JavaScript, and a lot of things which I will show you later on. Uh, it's the default dashboard of the, um, uh, variables. You can see it's, uh, built, uh, there are two kinds of variables, built-in variables and variables that we uh, can create. Um, uh, so there are two tools that help you to uh, set up Google Tag Manager and uh, verify information that you fired the right tag. On the right, you can see it's actually Chrome add-on. It's called it, uh, Google Tag uh, Assistant. Uh, you can see in this case that Google Analytics uh, fire correct tag, remarketing tag correct. And Google Tag Manager, it's uh, under uh, questions. But uh, uh, it's uh, as I checked this one, Google Tag Manager, it's about non traditional implementation in our website. Uh, and the second tool, I think it's not like a tool, it's a, uh, like um, 
one of the power Google Tag Manager is the it's called preview mode. In the preview mode, uh, you can see uh, whether the tab is fired correctly uh, or not, and check uh, information for the correctness. Okay, now it's enough theory. It's showcase time. Um, here is the our project uh, nitro rockets.com and now um, okay uh, to go number one uh, we want to send even purchased uh, to Google Analytics and understand the performance of crucial uh, metrics and see uh, let's see how to do that with GTM uh, this is purchase tag, uh, purchase trigger, and now let's see how it works. Uh, let me enable uh, the preview mode. It's enabled here. Okay, when the preview mode is enabled, you can see right here. Uh, now let's access to the website. Okay, you can see the bottom part. Uh, I have configured on the page, right after page loading, it will fire tag ad conversion, Facebook remarketing, uh, Google AdWords remarketing, intercom IO tag, and page tracking. Intercom is this piece of code, this one. It's for uh, customer chat. And so uh, our goal is what? Uh, we want to understand if people uh, look at the product and uh, make the uh, step if uh, we want it's a purchase today so let's check how it works uh, you uh, pay attention to the left side this one summary uh, okay I click it it's number nine and as you can see uh, we fired two tags one is agency conversion Google AdWords and second one purchase now good go to Jim Forest. Let's see uh, how is the information inside. Uh, inside this is the AdWords conversion tracking ID label. Uh, it fired it with conditions. Uh, click classes, this one, and even GTM click. Uh, the second one is about uh, purchase now go to Jim Forest. In this case, uh, we push it information uh, to uh, Google Analytics uh, following its click, landing, and purchase now. Under which conditions? The same with uh, those previous one, we click classes to those one. So when we click it, it uh, fired two times. And how does it look uh, inside uh, Google Tag Manager? Uh, for purchase, go to Zim Forest. It, it looks like this one. Simply, you just type information that you want. Correct. Under which trigger, purchase now. Uh, and one more. I hope on two more goals before my time is over. The goal number two, we want to integrate an intercom IO uh, service. As mentioned early, it's this chat box. Uh, so uh, we use it Google Tag Manager, uh, and this one is uh, HTML code, piece of code. And condition here is uh, like in the video said, it was you you decide yourself on which pages it appears. In our case, we want to uh, show Intercom IO only on uh, landing page homepage. So we put it uh, to trigger. Uh, it should be appear on page or URL, nitrorockets.com. And you can see this uh, on uh, this page only. If you browse on other demos, you won't see uh, intercom IO. Yeah. And the last things, uh, it's uh, third goal. Uh, it's about we used to track conversion from our Google AdWords campaign and user remarketing. So, 
uh, we applied uh, as I mentioned it earlier when you click it and number seven uh, uh, nine we push it uh, two tags uh, so one of the tag is Google AdWords and so we just uh, type it ID and label so Google AdWords understand conversion uh, that's it I I'm afraid time's over now okay uh, so uh, if you want to uh, get to know more about Google uh, Tag Manager just uh, uh, buzz me at lunch or during today or get to know uh, slides via this world. Thank you, Tony. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. Okay. Yeah, so if you have any questions for Tony, you can look for him during lunch. And uh, yes, so just before the lunch break, we'll have uh, one last speaker.